All right, guys, so today's video, we're gonna check out the brand new Clear Ally Plus 2. Now, this is a hybrid active noise canceling pair of earbuds, and it has a design that we've seen before on other earbuds. In fact, the original Ally Plus looks identical to these, but we've also seen it in other manufacturers like the Tronsmart Apollo Bold. Now, this pair specifically comes in two different colors. Uh, you can see that I have the midnight blue version here, but it's also available in a stone color as well and the price of these comes in at hundred and thirty dollars and the surprising thing about that is it's actually twenty dollars cheaper than when the original Ally Plus came out. Now, since the original ones came out, there has been a lot more earbuds to come out, so there's a lot more competition, and there's obviously a lot more competition when it comes to noise-canceling earbuds as well. So we're gonna see how these stack up against some of the others. Uh, we're gonna see what all comes inside the box and talk about the sound, and see if this pair is actually worth the $130 price tag. So let's go ahead and start with some of the technology that's in these. Now this pair is using Bluetooth 5.2 instead of Bluetooth 5.0. And this pair also has Aptex Adaptive Playback, which is also nice to see uh, because that's kind of new and it's not in a lot of other earbuds. Uh, but on top of that, it also has Aptex and SBC playback. And surprisingly, there's no AAC playback. So if you're an iPhone user or you're gonna use these with your iPad, not having AAC playback it's keeping you from having the best bluetooth codec uh, that apple users can take advantage of but as far as the connection itself i didn't have any kind of connection or dropout issues and surprisingly i didn't have any lag when it came to movies videos and also with gaming uh, if there was any lag at all with gaming it had to be minimal because i didn't notice any at all now, before you really get to using these, uh, one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is download the Clear Plus app. Uh, and the reason for that is that's gonna be the way that you keep your earbuds updated. Uh, but they also have a five band equalizer. That way you can just go in and customize the sound the way that you want to. Uh, you can switch around a couple of the controls, but not all of them. Uh, and then it also has an active noise canceling slider where you can have it turned up to kind of decide if you want a little bit to come in all the way to the point where you just hear all of your surroundings. Now let's go ahead and talk about the active noise canceling on this pair, uh, because if you're looking at this pair, that's gonna be one of the main things that you're interested in. And I can go ahead and say this right off the bat, the noise canceling on this pair is nothing special. It's not really doing a whole lot to block out your surroundings. In fact, it just sounds like a pair of earbuds that has passive noise canceling, basically just where the ear tip is blocking out your surroundings and not really any technology that's doing that. So uh, I was not impressed with the noise canceling on here, but I was impressed with the ambient mode. I, I felt like the microphones picked up my surroundings very well. Um, it was definitely easy to carry on a conversation without actually having to take the earbuds out. So if you do plan on using these outdoors, it is nice that that ambient mode is going to allow you to hear some of the traffic around you. Uh, and also this pair comes in at IPX4. So if you're outdoors and it starts to rain or if you sweat heavily or they get splashed on, uh, they're gonna be fine against things like that, but you definitely do not wanna submerge this pair into water. Now, as far as what you're getting inside the box, they do come with two different styles of silicone ear tips. Uh, you have your normal pair that comes in four different sizes, but they also offer a wider ear tip that kind of has a cone shape near the end. Uh, and that wider ear tip uh, secures a better fit. It gives you a much better seal, and it also improves the base on these earbuds. Now, as far as the charging cable they've included, uh, it does come with a very tiny USB-C cable, but luckily one of the upgrades in the Ally Plus 2 is the case on these is now a Qi wireless charging case. So you really don't have to keep up with that charging cable uh, because you can just come in, drop this case on any wireless charger and it'll start charging. And speaking of the charging, the battery life did get a slight boost on these over the originals. Uh, if you decide to use these with the noise canceling off, you can actually get around 11 hours on the earbuds and around 33 hours 
using the case. But if you do decide to just leave the noise canceling on all the time, which I don't recommend because it's not really making that much of a difference, it brings it down to 10 hours on the earbuds and around 30 hours using the case. So that alone should already tell you there's not a lot of technology going on because there's not that drastic of a drop off when it comes to battery life if you use these with the noise canceling off or with the noise canceling on. Now, if you do happen to pick these up and the battery is dead, they do have a fast charge feature where a quick five minute charge will get you an hour's worth of use. Now moving over to looking at the rest of the case, uh, it still keeps that same design that I like where it's clear at the top and you can see the earbuds through the case. Now on the back of the case, you can see the USB-C input for charging and then the indicator light is actually located underneath the lid between both of the earbuds. And that way you could just kind of gauge how much battery life is left on the case. Now moving over to looking at the actual earbuds, again, they keep that same design as the originals, which I'm a huge fan of because it has that large flat surface, uh, which allows you to be able to use your touch controls and not necessarily have to feel around to find that one little spot uh, where your controls actually work. And speaking of the controls, I'm happy to say that they allow you to control everything. So on this pair, you have the ability to play, pause, skip your tracks forward, go backwards. You have your volume control. You also have the ability to switch these between your noise canceling on and your ambient mode. So it's nice that all of this is on the earbuds so you don't actually have to go into the app or pull out your phone to actually be able to control your earbuds. The earbuds also have these smart sensors where if you take the earbuds out of your ears, it will automatically pause and then it will resume once you put them back in. And again, I like this feature because if somebody comes up real quick, you need to take them out. It just stops everything uh, so you can carry on that conversation. And once you throw them back in, it just goes back where you left off. Now, for you guys that do like to use your earbuds independently, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then when it comes to the microphones on here, uh, they are using dual mics on each earbud. Uh, they are also using the CVC technology to block out your surroundings. And I think mic quality is just decent. I think it picked up my voice fairly well. Uh, and when it came to noisy environments, I think it did a pretty good job of blocking out a lot of that noise. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test using the Ally Plus 2. I think overall it does a fairly decent job of picking up my voice. It does sound a little too warm or muddy uh, to me at times, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. And so now here is the mic test with the crowd noise being played, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call in public. So now let's talk about the sound because these are using 10 millimeter graphene drivers and surprisingly, they're giving you a pretty balanced sound overall. Um, they're not allowing the bass to do too much. Uh, it does have a quick little punch to it, but they are trying to tame that down uh, because there is a lot more focus on the clarity. You can hear a lot more of the mids and a lot more of your treble. In fact, the treble at times can actually get pretty bright. I would even say, depending on what you're listening to, you're going to hear a lot of that sibilant sound where the crashing of cymbals or the S's are going to have a slight little hiss. Now you can go into the app uh, and definitely pull down the treble a little bit to offset some of that, but you are gonna sacrifice some of the details in your music by pulling that treble down as well. Uh, but the mids on these I thought was the strongest point. I thought that they sounded very natural. Uh, male and female vocalists, you could just easily hear a bunch of different characteristics. Uh, it wasn't trying to do too much, but it never got lost in the mix, no matter what I was listening to. And I think that also, again, plays to the fact that they didn't allow the bass to overpower these. Now, even going into the app and trying to boost the bass, uh, you're only going to be able to get so much out of that. But one thing that definitely improved the bass quite a bit was switching over to those flatter silicone ear tips that they included in the box. So if you go into the app and boost the bass and then you change over to those flatter ear tips, it definitely improves the bass performance on these. But I still think overall bass heads are going to want a little bit more. And even speaking of that, when it comes to volume, I was actually wanting a little bit more there as well. I felt like I had to listen to these at full volume and I still wish I had another two notches to get it um, as loud as I like to listen to it sometimes. Now, I don't like to listen to them loud all the time, 
but I felt like with this pair, I needed to have them turned up at all times. So do keep that in mind if you're somebody that likes to blast your music. Uh, these are kind of limited when it comes to the volume. And then as far as the sound stage and the sound imaging, uh, I thought this pair did a really good job with this. I felt like I was in a larger room uh, and I definitely had no issues with being able to tell where different sounds were coming from. So uh, the sound quality I think is great if you like a very detailed sound, uh, but if you like more of a fun sound with really punchy bass, just picking up sub bass just a little bit deeper, uh, this pair really just wasn't capable of that. Uh, and then some of my other cons that I have to go back to is the noise canceling just isn't that strong on this pair. The fact that it doesn't have AAC for people that are using Apple devices. And then the volume needing another notch or two just to get it at a level that I like to listen to it sometimes is enough to make this a pair that's kind of hard to recommend. In fact, I think if you look at these compared to the originals, I would almost say go back to the originals because now you can find those pretty cheap. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad pair. I just think because of the competition that's out there, uh, there's just so many good earbuds that are at this price or lower uh, that it just, again, makes it a little bit harder for these to stand out. But they do have a solid battery life. They do have a very detailed and clear sound. So it may fit what a lot of you guys are looking for, but that's just my opinion on the Clear Ally Plus 2. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.